Hello everybody, it's Tanya Wells here. I am very excited to be doing my very first reaction video. So many of you have asked me to listen to certain songs, maybe cover other songs, and I found this was going to be a really in interesting and fun way to share music with you and also to talk about singing techniques and understand why music moves us the way it does. So... I'm going to start with this very first video, which happens to be a Coke Studio recording, season 14. It's had already huge number of views, 41 million. And this is Nasibo Lal and Abida Parveen singing Tujum. So without further ado, let's go straight into it. What a voice. What a voice. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to pause it there. I have never heard Nasib Olal singing before. I'm very aware of Abida Parveen, she's one of my favorite artists, but I'm so happy to see this singer Nasib Olal. I think the lyrics are in Punjabi and the language of Punjabi is so beautiful. Um, it has a kind of folky uh, vibe to it already, just because I associate Punjabi with a little bit more folk music perhaps. But uh, the lyrics are so, so beautiful. I'm already completely drawn in. Let's continue. Goosebumps immediately. Come on, Abila. Must to hope it come to me, a razi, curry, come lay, very much in a yon. Sorry, pushing a milita with a tail, pitch a key rejana. Sorry, pushing a milita with a tail, pitch a key rejana. They repass me, could you be nay? Till no way, some tower to two. How can you not feel joy listening to this? I don't want to speak to you. Spine, goosebumps, spine chills. Can I just say, if you're watching this without the captions, the subtitles, and you don't understand Punjabi, you need to watch this with the lyrics showing. You can do this on YouTube just by pressing CC because you have to understand that these lyrics are so beautiful out of this world. <laughs> Abida Parveen, my gosh. I have to say, she is just one of those complete unique artists. She's fully Sufi soul. And she, throughout her whole life, I've seen recordings of her singing as a child, just expresses with pure devotion. And I wholly trust her 
with my heart because she gives all of her heart to her music and you just receive that back. She's just completely open. And the way that she sings is completely unselfconscious. And I think that's why we trust her so much as a vocalist because she's singing beyond ego. She's singing to Allah. She's singing to God. She's praising the divine. And I think that's why it is so profound. Her performances are just so exalting and joyous because she is just in that realm of pure devotion. And I just totally trust what she expresses. The production on this is also stunning. With the choir, there's a little bansuri or a flute back there. And the dancing. It's so hard not to get totally wrapped up in this in this uh, swell of devotion. The fact that we hear this continuation of and and the beautiful embellishes by Abida Parveen and Nasim Bulal are just so just adding to each layer. And as you're as you're listening to the poetry of the lyrics, it just gets more and more just enthralling and joyous. Like, I, you can't help but weep with joy. It's not a sad song. It's absolutely enthralling and life-affirming. And, and it's just on another level, on another level. stunning oh my god well done I mean there's nothing more to say like 
you're just left in silence. And that is the power of Sufi music. You know, it takes us to this to this place of ecstasy and leaves us in the silence of pure being and feeling that love and that connection and joy. Joy of the spirit, joy of, of one's one's own self, joy of, of divinity. And, um, you know, hats off to everyone who was involved in that production. The production is stunning. It's it, The music is, is really beautifully balanced in terms of the instrumentation. And it just builds, 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 builds into when, when, when we feel that moment where our hearts are just bursting and, oh my God, as you can see, I am affected. I think it really also helps understanding the poetry because, you know, when you're reading, when I'm reading the poetry and hearing how it's being expressed, there is a wonderful moment where Abida just starts singing and it is so, so, so powerful. Let me just get back to it. I think it's this part, Niga, the insight. Let's just hear that again. In the, the so the background are singing just back here we hear this little variation which is beautifully effective where some singers in the chorus are singing here let me just go back yeah Do you hear that little part? So the background is constantly giving us these which is to dance this way. And then we have the two soloists who are just improvising, building with the alap, building with the expression and the poetry. And all of it just makes the perfect recipe for ecstasy. It's just so captivating and enthralling. Um, and very, very beautifully uh, composed. This is a stunning composition. I'm loving it. Such a great name. Oh, can you see that? Can you see that goosebumps? Insane. Care about him. I mean, that's it. That's all you need. <laughs> okay, um, that's my reaction to Tujum. If you enjoyed watching this reaction video, make sure you check out my next ones. I'm going to be reacting to loads of other videos. If you want me to react to a video, you can just message me or write down in the comment section and I will try and watch it. If you're interested in finding out more about uh, learning about singing techniques, I also offer some singing courses, which you can find on my website, which you'll see in the comment section below. You can also check out my music with Seven Eyes Official, which is going to be just click onto some of these videos and you'll be able to hear some of our music too. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. It's the first time I've done this. so. You know, hopefully with the next couple videos, I'll be able to be a little bit more articulate. That particular song um, really just puts me into silence. It's really quite hard to, to articulate when you feel such 
peace and joy. And yeah, there's really not not many words come to me. So um, maybe that's just a reaction in itself. I wanted to kind of break down what the singers are doing, but you know what? I don't. I don't really want to. I just want to be wrapped up into their world. You could hear all of the different layers which are put into this production, which make it so rich and beautiful. The dancing is also very effective uh, because it is the jhum that they are singing, the the dance, the sway. And, um, and also the just the play between the two soloists. Both of their voices work so beautifully together as well. And the poetry of this composition is just off the hook. Whoever wrote it, I don't know who wrote it. I'll find out who wrote it. Okay, so Du Chum has been credited as written by Adnan Dhul, composed and mixed by Zulfi, arranged and produced by Zulfi, and Abdullah Siddiqui. Wow. Guys, thank you for bringing the song into the world. It is a true gift to humanity, and we are blessed to hear it. If you enjoyed watching this reaction video, please do give a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I look forward to sharing some reactions with you on my channel very soon. So if you are interested in checking out my reactions, do subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, guys. Bye.